You can see the damage here before you even go inside. There's paint all over the concrete here outside the doors that the vandals tracked out and of course all over the doors themselves. But this is nothing compared to what you see inside. It's pretty gut wrenching. Music books, paint, pieces of musical instruments and band uniforms scattered around the room. The school says several miners got into the room overnight last Friday to Saturday and trashed it. A lot of our percussion instruments, um, a lot of the drum heads were punctured. We also lost uh, three baritones, a mellophone, and our Clavinova piano is also pretty much total. The superintendent says security cameras installed just last fall caught the vandals entering the room. That information has been turned over to the sheriff's office for a criminal investigation. I can't even figure out how this goes. <laughs> it doesn't anymore. But overall, as we've been kind of exploring and looking around, it's not quite as bad as it looks. That's the kind of positive attitude teachers are trying to maintain as an example to the students. We might be able to salvage these two. In a real life lesson on how to handle setbacks. That bad things happen. Uh, sometimes you don't understand it. It's out of your control. Uh, so how can we be a great example of how to overcome that in life? The reaction in the community, one such example. Already offers of help from near. Uh, from individuals, from alumni. And far. I just got a message from a school in Oklahoma that heard about it. Yeah, I almost recycled that pile. Another teachable moment out of this crime, the importance of community embodied in a school music program. Just talking to the kids, it's a really important part of what it means to be in this community. So it's, it's integral to this community. In Pretty Prairie, Pilar Pedraza, Cake News, on your side.